Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the iPhone 13 versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the S21 is powered by Samsung Exynos 2100 processor with 8GB of RAM while the iPhone 13 is powered by Apple A15 Bionic chipset with 4GB of RAM. On the back we have triple cameras on the S21. On the iPhone 13 we have dual cameras. We have a 12 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image separation. Also we have a 64 megapixel telephoto lens which gave you a 3x optical zoom. Lastly we also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide while on the iPhone 13 we have a 12 megapixel main camera which also has a sensor shift image separation. Also we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide and the back it is made up of glass on the iPhone 13 versus a plastic on the S21. Also on the frame on both phones is made up of aluminium on the bottom who does not have any headphone jack on both these two devices although we have dual speakers on both phones. So in this video I'm gonna show you in this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between the iPhone 13 versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 and now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. And guys now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one. Here we go. And the logo is came up first, exactly the same on both phones. Also, we have Android 12 with the Samsung One UI version 4 on the S21. While on the uh, iPhone 13, we have a iOS 15.1.1 and the iPhone 13 way way faster when it comes to booting up. While the S20 now it is also done and you can see about 2 or 4 second difference there not a huge difference when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices on the s21 we have 6.2 inch full hd plus dynamic amulet with 120 hertz refresh rate while on the iphone 13 we have 6.1 inch full hd plus super retina xdr display with 60 hertz refresh rate also on the S21 we have a punch hole on the center while on the iPhone 13 we have a big apple notch so the display is more better on the S21 as compared to the iPhone 13. Everything is closed up in the background, no application is running in the background. Also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones, now let's open phone dialer that is exactly the same on both phones. So next on the list is the settings, again exactly the same. So now let's go to the display. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on the S21 versus 60Hz on the iPhone 13 and the new iPhone 13 Pro series has 120Hz and that's really big difference between these two devices because I am a 120Hz user on my iPhone 13 Pro Max so I can feel very easily which one is 60Hz and which one is 120Hz. Guys now let's check out some more application Amazon shopping and let it move faster on the iPhone 13. Yes, move faster there as compared to the S21. Now let's see the scrolling and the display is more smoother on the S21 as compared to the iPhone 13. So now let's check out some games application. Now let's see that how much a difference between Apple A15 Bionic chipset versus the Exynos 2100 processor. Now let's check out some more application. Now let's open Candy Crush Sega. And the Candy Crush Sega exactly the same on both phones. Again, we have dual speakers. So here is the S21 speakers with the max volume. So here is the iPhone 13 speakers max volume. I would say that in the speakers it is a little bit more better on the S21 but as far as the bass is concerned it is much better on the iPhone 13. So now let's open Instagram a little more faster on the S21. Now let's open Snapchat exactly the same I would say. Now let's open Spotify, a little more faster on the iPhone 13. Now let's open Subway Surfer and the Subway Surfer a little more faster on the iPhone 13 as compared to the S21. So that's really big difference. Now let's open Temper and 2, Temper and 2 and you can see amazingly more faster on the iPhone 13 while the S21 is taking a, a lot of time iPhone 13 is done and the S21 now it is also done about one or two second difference there now let's open PUBG mobile on both phones very heavy game and the iPhone 13 looks more faster again which is obvious because we have a more powerful Apple A15 Bionic chipset faster on the iPhone 13 
as compared to the S21. Now let's opening up the tutor and the tutor faster on the iPhone 13 as compared to the S21. Now let's open Zedge. Zedge faster on the S21 as compared to the iPhone 13. Let's see the scrolling and, and the scrolling speed it is more faster on the S21 but obviously more smoother on the S21. So last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones, default camera application. Now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one. And now let's open the camera. Faster on the iPhone 13 as compared to the S21. Again, the 12 megapixel main camera on both phones. Okay guys, now let's see internet bound speed. I am seeing to follow Samsung internet browser on the S21 versus a Safari internet browser on the iPhone 13. So now let's open Wikipedia. Wikipedia exactly the same on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling and face a little more smoother on the S21. So now let's open English faster on the S21 as compared to the iPhone 13. iPhone 13, I don't know why. And now the iPhone 13 it is also done as well. Let's see the scrolling and the scrolling speed it is really really fast on the S21 as compared to the iPhone 13. And you can see, but overall no lag whatsoever next on the list is the apple.com launching at the same time apple.com faster on the s21 little more faster there so now let's see the scrolling again more smoother on the s21 so guys now let's see ram management on both phones we have 8 gb of ram with the samsung one ui 4 while on the iphone 13 we have 4 gb of ram the iOS 15.1.1 now let's see that who is perform good in the RAM management we have a lot of application in the background let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings Amazon shopping it is a internet refresh on the S21 but it is not refresh on the iPhone 13 let's see Candy Crush Sega no refresh Instagram no refresh now let's see snapchat no refresh let's see spotify no refresh now let's see subway software again no refresh now let's see temper and 2 no refresh let's see pubg mobile also in terms of the gaming wise i would say that the iphone 13 it is a much better phone as compared to the s21 because we have a xno chipset on the s21 so in terms of the long term gaming the s21 it is a really bad phone because of the heating issue now let's opening up the tutor no refresh zedge last way back to the internet browser not refresh on both phones and cast over i have to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that and the iphone 13 is performed more faster as compared to the s21 only the game app loading time i would say that in system based application both phones is performed very similar again we have ios versus a samsung one ui also in terms of the ram image wise as you can see that and both phones is performed incredible in the ram image man not a single refresh on both phones also now let's talk about the battery sizes on the s21 we have 4000 mAh battery size with a 25 watt super fast charging support but adapter it is not available in the box while on the iphone 13 we have a 3240 mAh battery size with a 20 watt fast charging support again and the adapter it is not available in the box and both phones also has a ip68 water and test resistance the battery life on the iphone 13 it is much better as compared to the s21 because of the new apple a15 optimization as well as a much bigger battery as compared to the last year iphone 12 that's about it and thank you so much for watching this p-test comparison between the iphone 13 versus the samsung galaxy s21 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out